Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the High Jedi channel. In today's video, we will be continuing our Stardew Valley version 1.4 min-max guide for spring. I went ahead and used a more successful save file to more accu accurately represent the next 7 days in Stardew Valley. A quick change, I will be making one more video after this one to make it a 4 part series in total. There's just so much to do in the next 2 weeks in game that would be extremely long video to produce. So for both our sakes, I will be making another one for next week. This save file will also be featured in an upcoming video, the full spring run. So su subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's get into it. Day 14 is pretty basic. Water your plants and grab five copper bars that you should have already smelted and head to Clint's. Along the way, check your trash cans and foraging spots. If you have time after watering plants and if optimal, you've already reached level six farming and have some sprinklers unlike myself. If you do not have sprinklers, that's okay too. A good end goal for spring would be to have at least 40 sprinklers minimum. After dropping off your pickaxe to Clint, head to the mountain lake just up the hill and fish the day away. But make sure to head to bed before 1.50 a.m. Sell your fish minus the chubs and if you absolutely need it, the bullhead for consumption. As usual, water the plants. I was lucky enough to have a potato harvest that I planted shortly before the egg festival in this file. Again, it is not easy to get level 6 farming by the egg festival, so I've made do with what I, what I have. If you don't have level 6 farming, just continue watering and mining fishing until you have enough stacked up ore, coal, and enough edibles to sustain your energy. You'll need 200 gold iron ores and 40 quartz along with 120 coal. I don't feel it necessary to have more than 5 or so furnaces unless you already have level 6 farming as you'll more than likely have to wait for the first strawberry harvest on the 22nd for level 6 farming just to keep a steady pace of gold iron and refined quartz bars once the plants are watered go ahead and head to the mountain lake and fish the day away again also be on the lookout for salmon berries it is a huge help for energy when watering so many plants before you acquire quality sprinklers once done sell the fish and items you can and head to bed so we started off the day amazingly. Not only was it a rainy day and our pickaxe was ready, but we had some very happy spirits. Considering we were already planning on mining, this was ideal. Today's task is simple. Grab salmon berries until Clint opens at 9 a.m. You should be able to grab quite a few before grabbing your pickaxe. Get to Clint's on the dot, grab your new and improved tool, and off to the mines with you. Make sure to follow the normal rules on mining. Only go for monsters if it's absolutely ne necessary. The main goals are level climb for gold past level 80 and enough gold iron and quartz ores pop rocks that are easiest to pop first also if all the creatures are killed within the floor you're on the stairs have a 4% chance increase of appearing so work at a good pace but prioritize ore and leveling we managed to get to level 67 with quite the iron ore haul once done with the day sell your sellables and continue on the bars and head to bed day 17 water the plants if it hasn't been ingrained in the very fabric of your being yet. <laughs> Then search for the bountiful salmon berries. In day 17, they are everywhere. Take full advantage of it before you head to the mines. Same rules as always and try as hard as you can to get to level 80 where the gold can now be mined. Head back to your house once it's all said and done. Check your furnaces and replace if need be, then head to bed. Day 18, water the plants of course. Today we're going to head to Clint's, so grab 5 iron bars and your pickaxe. Head to Bier's as well and buy as many parsnips and potatoes as you think you can handle. The parsnips are going to be needed so we can have a quicker harvest to get to the level 6 if you haven't already. Make sure to head back to the farm, plant the seeds you bought, and water. Once done, grab your fishing pole and head to the fishing spot below Marnie's. Grab as many salmon berries as you can, Marnie's ranch is loaded with them. Again, the salmon berries are 100% free, all it is is time to collect them, and they are amazing to heal your energy when you need it. Once done, go ahead and fish for the night, and then once you're done with that, 
head to bed. Day 19, yes, water. I know, I know, but it will be worth it. Once done, head south of Marnie's to the usual fishing spot. Make sure to keep the chubs and sell the rest. Always go for the chests as well. The chests can produce amazing, amazing sellable items like diamonds, eggs, anything else you can imagine that you can sell. So always go for the chests. Once you're done, sell, 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 and go to sleep. On day 20, we were lucky enough to get another rainy day while we also had to pick up the miner's pick. So it really works out for the mines that way. We don't have to spend the energy we usually need to water the plants and such, and instead we use that energy to mine our butts off. Okay, so this is where the ideals shift a bit. Since we need as much ore as we can possibly get and have already got to level 80, focus on the ores, gems, and coal. Check every corner of the level and prioritize prioritize the ore. You again need to have a total of 200 gold and iron ore and 40 quartz. Make sure to also be making bars as the days progress. Level 6 farming is soon if you haven't achieved it already. Once done of course, throw some more in the furnaces and head to bed. Day 21. Water the plants. Tomorrow is strawberry harvest. For today though, make sure to head to the mines and try as hard as you can to get to level 100. The mine level 100 gives you a star drop in the chest once you hit it. We were able to reach it, which is a great way to end this video. Head home, make ore, sell valuables, and then get your butt to bed. Thanks for watching guys. That's it for the video today. The final video in the series will be done next week. If you guys have any questions at all, comment down below I try to answer and respond to every single one if you're new make sure to subscribe and if I could get everyone to drop a like share if possible too until next time guys stay lit stay up and stay high Jedi peace